flood season in the NWT happens every year, so we need to be ready by understanding risk, being prepared for flood dangers, and protecting property. Flooding in the NWT is mainly caused by ice jams on rivers during spring breakup. An ice jam happens when chunks of ice clump together to block water flow, causing water levels to rise. Water levels can also rise because of weather conditions and melting in the NWT or in areas outside the territory connected to our waterways. Flooding in the NWT affects some communities more than others. Higher risk communities are those along waterways where ice is known to jam up in early spring and runoff can increase water levels in late spring and early summer. High risk communities include Hay River, Katludichi First Nation, Fort Liard, Nahani Butte, Jean Marie River, Fort Simpson, Toledo, Fort Good Hope, and Aklavik. Flooding in the NWT is expensive. Floods cost Canadians millions of dollars every year in property damage, lost production, wages, and business. The Northwest Territories has a policy that may help people recover after a flood causes widespread damage, but this kind of assistance is not insurance. It only covers essential items. Flooding in the NWT is increasing. Results of climate change studies point to weather pattern variations that mean floods are happening more frequently and in different ways. While there is no way of predicting floods with absolute certainty each year, we do know flooding is an extreme hazard when it comes to emergency management risk in the NWT. Since flooding is a hazard affecting more people more often, we need to be ready by being aware of our community flood risk, having household emergency plans and kits ready, and preparing homes and property. For more information, search Be Ready NWT.